everybody and welcome to a new video on my channel thank you so much for watching it and today it's really an exciting one for you today i'm creating this look only with charlotte tilbury products everything i have including a few testers but i will try them i get a first impressions about a few products and in-depth reviews about a few others i hope that you will enjoy it this is the look i created and today it's a full face of only charlotte tilbury products it's quite similar to the exit beauty one i did a few weeks ago and a little bit like the tarte one i did i hope that you will like it and this is the video for this week a full face of using only charlotte tilbury products face product wise i have to admit that it's going to be kind of limited to my first impression on uh, products because i got quite a handful of little testers of the products which you always get when you order online on the Charlotte Tilbury website. I did not get any full size product because of course they are quite expensive. It's definitely a high end brand and I did not know how much it would go with my skin so I got a few testers. Two testers of the Magic Cream which I'm quite excited about. I thought I'm going to give one of them a go in this video and then I can just tell you my first impression on it. Yeah, it smells quite strong okay that little bit actually goes quite far i don't think that i do like the scent of this too much to be honest but it's actually quite a thick cream and i think it's actually nicely nourishing but when you apply it it's not too thick it's actually quite nice to spread on your skin so i think this little thing is good for two two times applying or maybe even three times so wherever i'm going to put that now all right so that's the magic cream so far so good all right and i do also have an eye cream i think what i also have here these two little things is a multi miracle glow that's a cleanser mask and a balm so that's not for this video and the other thing here is the magic eye rescue eye cream to help slow down the clock i hear amazing things about the, the skin things from charlotte tilbury so i'm always quite excited when i can get um, a tester of them so yes this is the eye cream to the magic eye rescue so everything that reduces dark circles as you can see um, i'm always excited about so thinner consistency more a little more gel like i would say moisturize and eye cream are on now the face foundation kind of stuff i do have the magic foundation flawless long lasting coverage so i got this in the color one fair and i also have the retoucher conceal and perfect product also the number one fair so i'm going to try these two face cream so far feels good my skin does not instantly feel very irritated or anything before i use my foundation i'm going to use my primer and i got the wonder glow instant soft focus beauty flash primer actually a full-size product can be used under over or instead of foundation it gives the most beautiful glowing finish but it's not too much of a very moisturizing product um, if you really want to go for a very moisturizing or especially moisturizing primer then i still can um, recommend the quench hydrating primer by chart and this one is a very like it says wonder glow it gives you this wonderful dewy very lovely um, glowy finish very very pretty so let's get started with my primer i always kind of apply eye primer with my fingers i don't know if that is the correct way and like you can see this is a very lovely and already golden shimmery primer i always kind of apply it like a moisturizer i can see how insanely dewy my skin already looks it gives the loveliest finish oh i have a lovely about to heal pimple on my chin here due to the time of the month i've just been through and we'll see how good the coverage of the concealer and the foundation is there so that's the wonder glow primer and as you can see it gives you this insanely super moisturized and dewy and hydrated look really love that about this product it has kind of the same scent as the the magic cream has and um, that's I, i'm not the biggest fan of the scent but like most of the time you do not really realize the scent after applying it okay so let's get started with the foundation this is the magic foundation she now has i think a new foundation hollywood something i think it looks very very exciting and i really would love to try it but so far it's just out of budget 
Like I said, I got this number one fair. I found it quite hard to decide what, sh what shade I wanted to go for. But I tend to, if I don't know which one, I tend to go for uh, the lightest shade of a foundation first. Okay, so far the coverage looks good. I don't even know if you can get brushes from the brand, to be honest. So, nevertheless, I do not have any brushes, so I'm going for my Tarte paddle brush it's, it's my favorite okay the color match is quite nice kind of a good match but i do need quite a lot of it it's quite liquidy as far as i can tell coverage i would say it's medium to a buildable it's definitely quite buildable don't feel too heavy on the skin so far also it doesn't really settle in the areas of my skin which are always quite dry Maybe a little bit up here. I think I found a grey here. I just found my first grey hair. That's perfect. Since I now used my anti-aging eye cream. Okay, so far it settles a bit around the super dry spot, so around here, at my nose here, but any other places it looks good. Okay, so the first impression of this foundation is actually really nice. I covered the scarring kind of of this pimple down there actually quite nicely. So far, Magic Foundation, it's a nice one. Okay, onto the concealer then. And like I said, this is the retoucher. I don't know if there's any other concealer by the brand you can get. Looks like quite a liquidy consistency. But I did, I heard quite nice things about this concealer actually. So I really just wanted to try it. I don't know if there's a lighter shade than that, but I don't think so. Coverage is good. I really do like the coverage of them. Do like it, everything so far. It's maybe a tiny little bit too bright at the moment compared to my skin because I do have from the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of my tan from my holidays left. So that's not a problem because I'm going on to my next product which is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. And I accidentally got this in a uh, color medium which is actually a bit too dark like you can already tell for my skin tone but that's always kind of something I do in summer I never get my foundation a shade darker when I have a tan because then I will never ever use it up in time so most of the time I get just a powder a tiny tad too dark to darken up my face with the powder and then I have a perfect match color wise for my skin and then I have a perfect match um, powder and foundation together and powder lasts a lot longer so if I don't use it up I can use it in the next year but foundation is always kind of a little bit hard to tell if it will last until next year so I have this powder and uh, first of all I'm now using this in combination with my vegan powder brush by Exo Beauty. It's just a nice big powder brush. And I'm just applying this all over to set my foundation. I'm not the biggest fan of this powder to be honest. It's a good coverage. It's a good product. It sets the makeup nicely. I can see it darkens up just the perfect amount. But you can see it's I already already hit the pan. And I'm using this now for oh, I when I took it out maybe since May or April. And in comparison, my all-time favorite powder, this one, this is the Rimmel Stay Med powder. I'm using this for about a year, or at least since November last year, and I hit the pan either. And um, it's actually really, really powdery. This part, I don't know if you will be able to see, but but when you when you do not very carefully swish around with your brush, and you if you just use it quickly, it's well, it's just swish and go like I normally do with my powder since I do not want to spend too much time on my face powdering and then you just have it everywhere and I don't think that a powder at this price point which I do not have in mind but it's totally brand then I don't think that that should happen that's just it right and you can see now it's the perfect match to my neck 
and I just I just prefer it that way and not just buy a darker foundation shade only for the two or three months in the year I am a little bit more tanned. Okay, so this is the powder, the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. You get eight grams of product in here. It says it's 30 months of use. I really, really love the packaging. It's amazing, like with all the Tyler Tilbury products. It's incredibly pretty. I um, really, really love this. We'll always, when it only comes to how pretty the product looks, we'll always come back to the brand. I do like the powder. The other thing I really don't like about it is the fact that it's used up very quickly and like a third of the product you lose because it's so powdery and it flies everywhere and I don't think that should happen with the product at this price point. Okay, so I think I'll go on to highlighting and contouring. Having this palette here. I also do have this palette which I'm doing um, using as my mirror. This is the Instant Look in a Palette palette. I'm going to use that for my eyes and for blush. But since I do have this product here, I will use this one for highlighter and maybe this one then for bronzing. And this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette Face Sculpt and Highlight. Probably already know this this is one of her probably best-selling products I can imagine because this is just the prettiest and the most wonderful product so I got think a lighter one fair to medium like you can see yes this was a brush here don't mind that a lovely highlighter and a super pretty like sculpting bronzing shade and like you can see how lovely and dewy my skin looks and that's all of this prime I really really like it you don't even need too much of a highlighter there so I'm going to use my Shimmer Tula brush by Exo Beauty and the highlighter here and starting with my cheekbones now that you can see the amazingness of this. So this is more like a shim highlighter. It's super pigmented, very pretty. I really, really like this. So this is definitely one of the most expensive products in that category I do have. It's probably the most expensive highlighter I do have. But to be honest, when it comes to how amazing it is and how much fun it is to use it, it's worth the money. I always kind of blend from the brow bone down here and have like kind of a little bow. I don't know if that's a professional way to do it, but I do like the look of it, so it's so nice. A little bit on my nose. I don't like too much of a highlight on my nose, just a bit. Ah, and on the lips. The foundation starts to look a little bit funny around here. A little bit patchy, just down here where my skin is just really dry. Let's highlight it up. Now I'm quickly going on. Oh, there's a little bit outside my window. It's so cute. Now I'm going on with the sculpting side. This is not as highly pigmented as the bronzing thing in uh, the other palette is. So what I tend to do is, I'm using my big like uh, powder brush, which I always already use also for bronzers, because it just gives the perfect amount of thing. I'm going into the shade a bit, not too much. And I'm using this a bit more as a bronzer and a little bit less as a sculpting thing. So that is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Definitely one of my all-time favorite products. Definitely one of my favorite highlighters. And I just love the packaging. It's incredible. Highly recommend this product if you want to invest in a good highlighting and bronzing palette. I'm using this so long and so intensive and there's not much of the product gone. Highly recommend this. Okay, so that's that done. Now going on, I think next I want to browse. And I do have a Charlotte Tilbury product for that either. This is the Legendary Brows Brow Mascara Supermodel. Yes, that's the name of it. I don't know if there are any other colors. This is quite a dark brown. I do think that you can get different shades of this. I really do like this. It's very intense. Um, it's a very small, small brush. But the good thing about this is that you can work very, very detailed. I always have a problem with new brow mascaras because they always tend to go everywhere. Now, this shade is a darker, warm-toned brown. This is just the way I apply this. I don't know if that is the professional. I can, I can stay like this. The professional way, but always kind of go over it like that. And then just bring them into position where I want them to be. Quite like this. As you can see, it's still a very, very natural finish. It's darker, but very natural. I really like that in my brows. I don't like them if they are too overdone and too like Instagram brows. 
I don't actually think that you can watch Tyler Tilbury makeup tutorials and how the products are used if you're not too sure. I actually never did that. I always kind of just go for it and try the product and find a way for myself how they work. It actually fixes the brows in place quite nicely. So they will stay in the way the way you shape them once it, the product is right. Brows done. Really, really love this product. Um, like you can see, it's quick and easy. It's a very natural brow look. It's nothing too dark or too intense. Of course, depending so much on how you like your brows to look or what you prefer. But I do prefer my, my um, eyebrows to be darker, to be defined, but to look natural. And that is what you can do with that product. And now this palette here, which is quite new to my collection, is one of the my most recent purchases. And this is the Instant Look in a Palette 5 Minute Face on the Go Seduce beauty palette and I really really love this again this beautiful packaging very sturdy very shiny very easily very fingerprinty and this is the palette so in here you have three eyeshadows a bronzer a highlighter a, a cheek swish and a cheek pop and you have the eyeshadows up here are a shade to a brighten a shade to enhance and a bright shade uh, to smoke so three different shades, very very usable for various different eyeshadow looks. I'm of course going to do one today and I first of all would start with the bronzer like I just said, number four, using the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit and going to apply them here, this here. And you can see how insanely pigmented this is and this is why I love this more for a tiny bit more of contour and less as a bronzer because as a bronzer it's too dark and too highly pigmented for my taste i want my bronzer to be buildable and to not be too intense like you see i'm not too heavily handed when it comes to sculpting also i'm only using it on my uh, cheekbones and jawbone i think on my nose or something because that's just not my taste. Okay, and then going on to the eyes. I just quickly, I'm going to do a simple look. Of course, I have three eyeshadows here. Of course, Charlotte Tilbury has amazing, incredible eyeshadow palettes. And I'm really, really wanting to get one of them, but they are expensive. One of them is around 40 euros, I think. And to be honest, it's too, it's it's still a little bit at the moment for my taste. It's too much for a, for, for a quart eyeshadow palette. And we have amazing eyeshadows in here. So I'm going to start with a number one, this one, which is a very lovely, like, champagne shimmer, a brighter one. But it's not going to be a very out there or very, like, special eyeshadow, like. But I'm going with what I have, and that is this palette. And I'm starting by applying number one eye brightening to my inner corners, blending it towards the middle and the outer corner. Okay, now I think I want to go in number three and just use these two to make a warm autumnal bronzy eye. So I'm jumping to number three, Eye Smoke. And I'm using my Exo Beauty um, Vegan Crease Blender Brush before I used the Eva 234, I guess. Yes, this Lux Smoky Shader Brush. And I highly recommend when you use this the first time. This color, all the shadows, but especially this one, is highly pigmented. So do not go into it too quickly because then it can get quite hard to blend it. As you can see, I just really touch it the teeny tiniest bit and already it's quite pigmented. What you don't have in here at all is any like matte shade of any kind. So I'm just going to use my powder going a tiny bit in here to blend it up here. I'm very happy that I got this palette finally. The bronzer in there is amazing. I would not have needed the blushes, but that is just due to me never ever using a blusher because my cheeks, I do not use, have, haven't used anything and my cheeks are pink anyway. That's just my natural cheek color. Okay, so before I do the second eye, which I will quickly do off camera because the video is probably as long as always anyways, um, I'm first going, I'm using my MAC 212 brush and first going into the number one. Applying that in the inner corner and blending it towards the middle. And then I'm going to take number three and I'm putting that in my outer corner here. And I'm blending it towards the middle into the champagne shade. And also into the lash line up here. 
Okay, and then quickly using my Zuba 234 Smoky Shader Brush and also applying number three, put that down here and also blending that at the same time. Now I'm quickly going back into the number one, the brightening eyeshadow and just tapping it on top here a bit because I want it to be a little bit more bright. Okay, all right, eyes are done. I love these eyeshadows. You you definitely feel the quality of them. Now I quickly wanted to just make it complete, add a little bit of the blusher in here. And I'm going to stay with this cheek swish, which is a light, peachy, pinky, shimmery thing. And I'm just going to add the tiny, tiny, tiniest little bit on my cheeks and blending it towards my cheekbone. Okay, and to finish up the eyes, I'm going to use my eyeliner, which I do have from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Feline Flick eyeliner, which I do really, really love. I used this in videos before. Uh, this is just the loveliest black, deep, deep black eyeliner. Actually very, very easy to use. I really, really enjoy using it. So I'm doing a kind of a small little flick out there to follow the eyeshadow. All right. I just love so much how dark black this is. The only problem I always have with felt tip eyeliners, which kind of appears to be new with this one now. I never had a problem applying anything with this, but now I, it seems like the tip of the felt tip, the very tip, seems like it dries out a little bit, and that's never a good sign, so I hope that it will recover as soon as possible. So now the last thing um, for my eyes, for this look, is mascara, and I do have the full fed lashes from Charlotte Tilbury here, and uh, curl, separation, volume, length, and drama, five star mascara. It has a very nice and lovely and voluminous brush, wand, that's the word, I would really love about this, and I do like this mascara, it's just not my all time favorite. It leaves your lashes looking very natural, ow. This is why I really love to use this mascara when I uh, go for very natural, like no makeup makeup. But if you would love to go for a more dramatic look, it just won't go that way. So I will try to layer it now for this video as much as possible. But it's a lovely mascara. I do love the formulation, it's a little bit thicker. I do really love this brush wand. <laughs> Separation is definitely a thing about this mascara or this wand. So that's the mascara. I do love it a lot. I don't want to say anything bad about this. It's just what you're going for. It's always like that. Look at the lashes. They look amazing. Every time I use this, I'm amazed again. What I really, really like is that the bristles on the brush, they get more dense and closer together towards the front of the wand. That makes it very easy to apply to the lower lashes. I stomp. I do really do not want to say anything bad about this since I'm a very happy user of this mascara. I don't just don't know if I'm going to instantly repurchase it as soon as it's empty. Since I don't know if I want to pay the price again. Yet it's amazing and I do recommend that you try it if you like mascaras which give you very natural huge lashes like you can see they are huge. Um, but if you go for a little bit more of a more natural look and something you can build up towards something more dramatic, then I recommend this mascara. If you want something instantly dramatic and instantly like the lash sensation, then go for that one or the Benefit Roller Lash. Yes, that's it for the eyes. And the only thing missing now is a lipstick. Of course, you know that I did a uh, luxury wardrobe unboxing in the past on my channel. I will link that down below. I don't want to use any of the lipsticks I have shown you there because you have seen them all. So I decided to go for one of my newer ones. And I do have these two, which I could not decide which one I wanted to go for, so I got them both. The two special edition kind of lipsticks, which is... American Sweetheart and English Beauty. Going for the English Beauty. So yes, this is now the finished look with lipstick and everything on. It's the finished look and a full voice of really only using Toilet Hilbury products. It's actually, uh, I didn't know that I did have so many products, of course, there are tests included and I do not have every single product like fully, but I hope that you like it and the worth of this I don't know, probably like two, three hundred euro of all the products. Of course, the testers were free. But what I paid, I think that's a good amount of money. I hope that you enjoyed this little video. Let me know if you should do more like brand specific videos like this, like using as far as possible or only products from one brand. With any brand you want to, uh, hopefully specifically products which I can get. I do, I really wanted to do something like that with Glossier, but unfortunately, uh, glossy products are still not sold and too many and 
I cannot get them. I would have to travel to Great Britain or um, Ireland or Denmark, Sweden, something like that, I think. I would love to travel there, but I cannot afford it only to travel there to shop beauty products. <laughs> yeah, so I am finished now with this video. I really enjoyed using this, creating this lovely thing. I love everything. I recommend everything I got from Charlotte Tilbury. I do love the foundation and the concealer so far and also the, the eye cream and magic cream. I don't know if you will be able to see that actually. The foundation already settles around here. I think you can see it a tiny little bit around here. And they're between my eyebrows and around here. If you do have extremely dry skin like me, it will settle where the skin is dry a bit. So that's the only thing, the tiny, tiny little bit settling there, which I actually experience with every foundation I have. I did not find a single foundation which uh, did not settle around my nose and between my eyebrows there. It's not too bad, you do not see it if you do not look very closely. I, I think you can see that a little bit, but it doesn't look really, really bad. Actually looks good for, for foundation. I think the primer of course does its thing. When you have very, very dry skin and huge problems with settling foundation, get a hydrating primer. Like I said, I highly recommend the Quench Me or Only Quench or something. Hydrating primer from Tarte. I experience the best things with that. So yes, this has been my little video for today. If you have any questions or comments, concerns, anything uh, about these products or about anything, let me know in the comments down below. I will be very happy to help you out as much as I can. Um, that is mainly why I do these videos, because I want to help people out, I want to show people the products, especially with expensive products like these. Of course, you do want to know something about them before you buy them. I did my research before either. Of course, you want to know what you get yourself into if you pay as much money as you have to for these products. I can write a little um, review about the foundation and the a concealer on my blog. If you want to read something like that, leave me a comment down below. What I thought about it after a longer time. So far it's now on for an hour about and I think I can say that it does settle on dry skin, that you do need a hydrating primer underneath or maybe this primer. It does look quite good with this primer either. You will need a primer underneath if you have dry skin. But so far anything else, the concealer is amazing. Almost 100% covered the dark circles of my eyes. It did nicely cover my pimple down here so the concealer I'm very excited about and I'm actually thinking about getting a full-size product foundation I, I don't know yet I, I don't know if I want to pay as much as it's necessary to get a full size but I'm thinking about it so that's it very excited very happy about all the products of course I'm using the brow thing pretty much on an everyday basis I'm loving the eyeliner even though you have to get used to it a tiny little bit at first but then you have amazing results once you get used to it like I said, enough about the mascara. I really, really love it. It's just more like a natural look, but even if they even show up on camera with an island underneath. So I don't know what I'm thinking. Actually, I really, really love the mascara. Primer's amazing, not too keen with the scent, but you do not smell it once you wear it. So depending on how sensitive you are, maybe you want to try and smell this before you get it. The powder, like I said enough about that probably will not repurchase that. It's amazing, it's a good coverage, it warms up your complexion very nicely, um, you stay matte as long as you want to, it does not totally over mattify your face. The Instant Look in a Palette palette, one of my favourites, like right from the very beginning, I find it amazing. You, you probably don't, you only need this when you're travelling. You go out, you pack your makeup bag and you have a highlighter, a bronzer, a blusher and eyeshadow in there. You're good to go, you don't need five different products, you just need this one. Magic cream and eye cream so far very very nice. I don't feel any irritations. I feel hydrated, no stretchiness, no itchiness, nothing really really like that. And last but not least of course the Film Star Bronzing Glow thing, one of my favorite products. Love it, love it, love it. So like you can see there are two, three little teeny tiny things I can say. So you get what you pay for. You pay a little bit more and get amazing products. The lipsticks of course are amazing. They stay on your lips, the matte ones. I, I mainly have the Metro Revolution lipsticks and they actually stay on all day long. So worth the money, I would say. Of course you don't need crazy amounts of them. 
like me. So yes, I think that's everything. A good review. I hope that yeah, I told you everything. I hope that this video is okay in its length and that it's not, not boring or anything. I hope that it could help you. I may be even with your decision if you want to get any other products and I hope that you'll really leave me a comment down below telling me everything you know about Charlotte Tilbury, every product you have, what you think about the products and if you could recommend or disagree with my recommendations about the products. And that has been my video for today. I hope that you like it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Like always, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel because that's amazing and uh, I love you all so much. And I can't wait to see you in my next video, which um, I don't know what it's going to be yet. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Have a wonderful time. Enjoy autumn. I hope that you love it as much as I do. And it's all coming in and everything is beautiful. And I will stop talking now. Thank you for watching this video and for subscribing, liking and commenting. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.